CEX are ripping you off. And in this video, I'm going to show you by just how much. We are at a brand new Smith's Toys and today it is the battle of the high street games because what I want to know, or what I think I know, is that PS5 games and CX are a complete rip-off. I think it's actually more value for money to buy it from Smith's Toys, but we're going to find out. I've been to CX and I've picked out a selection of games that I'm going to test here in Smith's just to check the prices we're going to compare and hopefully it will help you decide if you want to go secondhand with your CEX stuff or if you just want to pay to have that brand new crisp fresh experience from Smith's. We, I honestly don't know what to expect so it's going to be interesting but again this is a brand new Smith's Toys what better way to christen it than with a great episode right here so stay tuned I've got you covered let's dive in there and check out some of the latest PlayStation 5 games. Okay, straight off the bat, we have some God of War at $14.99. $14.99 compared to CEX, okay? We've got Assassin's Creed Mirage. They did have Valhalla in. Let's see if there's Valhalla. Okay, so there's doesn't look like there's any physical Valhalla, but let's compare Mirage, which is $24.99. That's PS4. We've got to find the PS5 version. Let's find the PS5 version. All right, your PS5 stuff is here. Right, okay, so first hand copy of GTA 5, $17.99 in here, compared to CEX. Compared to CX, $24.99. So it's actually cheaper in here at $17.99. I told you. All right, next up, we've got some Spider Man 2 PS5, $58.99. This was 50 quid in CX. So it's not a massive price difference. And if I'm honest, I would much rather have a brand new copy than like have some dirty grubby copy for like for the sake of saving like nine pound so gta is cheaper but that is slightly more expensive which is fine we don't mind that okay next up then so we also let's check out this so like fc24 this has just come out how much is it in cx didn't see it in cx just been in but we'll take a look on their website. So that's like brand new at $19.99. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's only $59.99. That is a bargain at $59.99. This is like brand new. Brand new, guys. $59.99. That's cheaper than what I bought it for. That's crazy. I just checked an NCX second hand that is $68.99. It is cheaper to buy it brand new than it is in CX. I'm literally blown away right now. I am literally blown away. That is mental. That is mad. We already know that's cheaper. We already know that's like slightly more expensive, but hey, it doesn't matter. Okay, we got a sneaky look of Ghost of Tsushima in CX. It is. $52.99 in here and I believe it was $42.99 in CX so it is a lot cheaper in CX but I guess again it just depends I don't know I think I'd probably get Tsushima from CX if I actually wanted it um hmm interesting so Gran Turismo 7 isn't here on PS5 but it was around the other side on the PlayStation 4 cheating slightly but it's in first hand at 49.99 on the ps4 but there is a ps5 upgrade available so for 50 quid you can pick a copy of this up and i think it was like 45 in cx i personally would rather spend the extra fiver and have a brand new copy 
So far, Smith's Toys is winning hands down, and that is even cheaper on the PS4. Unbelievable. So there is an absolute disaster on this. So $34.99 in Smith's. I don't know how much this is. Let's take a look and see how much this is in CEX. Even though it's a disaster and I wouldn't pay for it, in CEX, the price is... Oh my God, it is £50 with no DLC in CEX. You can get it for with the, with the DLC, I assume, um, and 35 quid, so £15 cheaper. I did not expect to see or realise how much cheaper it is in Smith's compared to CX. This is crazy. Okay, long shot here. This literally just came out. Let's see if this is advertised on CX's website. It's $42.99 in here. Brand new. Bargain alert, straight on PS5, um, $19.99. Uh, I don't know if this is the same price on PS4 in here, uh, but this, I'm not joking, side note, if you haven't played this game, you need to play this game. The big question is, is it cheaper in here or CX? Oh my God, it's more expensive in CX. Come to Smith's. Don't pay CX prices, you get it cheaper in here. Okay, apparently this is number one in the charts. It is $54.99. It is not my kind of game. You guys know the question. Cheaper in here or CX? It is cheaper here by one penny. By one penny, you can get this cheaper, brand new, compared to CX. And... We have some classic on the arcade one up stuff here. Lots of games built in. That is awesome. So, four, eight, 12 games built in. No price, but I definitely don't have any room nonetheless. Still cool. Give me five. Yes! <laughs> what is this at 20.99 we have a nintendo plush illumination does he glow does jack black glow that is awesome that's not a bad price to be fair so how much did we save let's assume you went into smith toys today and spent all your money on every game that i showed you would save a whopping 61 pound and six pence by buying them at Smith's compared to CEX, which is second hand. That is astonishing, absolutely astonishing. I knew it. I went in with a prediction that it would be cheaper to buy first hand games rather than go to PlayStation 5 stuff in CEX. Some of the games, okay, were a little bit more expensive, but the likes of, say, Alone in the Dark for 42, 43 quid in there compared to 40 second hand in CEX, I would rather pay the three pound. I am genuinely blown away, and it is proof that you can still find first hand bargains on the high street if a PS5 is your thing. Now, of course, we could have done Nintendo Switch and Xbox, but of course we have Game Pass. I kind of just didn't want to include the Xbox because of Game Pass is there dominating the Xbox um, One ecosystem. Let me know, obviously, there's this whole debate of physical versus digital. I was in Metal Jesus's episode this week in which I gave my opinion about uh, physical over digital amongst loads of other content creators. So go and check his video out. But I think as far as physical goes, I am very much a physical collector. As you guys know, you've seen the Lady Lounge, you've seen the Lady Loft. And I'm definitely going to be going here, which is a brand new Smith's um, in a close-ish town to me. Let me know what you think. I don't necessarily mean I'll stop um, buying stuff from CEX. I do get a lot of my retro stuff from there. I feel a lot of the PS2 stuff is really nice. Um, these, these, these kind of slum pickings on the GameCube every time I go into a CEX. I'm still going to go there, but it's cool to see. Smith's Toys for the win. It dominated this episode. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to nip to Greg's now and go and get something to eat because I am famished.
I need a few seconds of your time to tell you about channel memberships. If you guys want to become a channel member, click join from the main page or the second link in the description. There are three tiers, all with different perks for you if you want to become a team member. Thanks for your time. Let's continue with the video. Back at base with one of my favourite balls of fluff, just chilling by the heater. And I just thought I would kind of just just kind of something just sprang to mind obviously with me doing a lot of streaming on the ps5 um i've got one up here on the stream setup and then one downstairs in the lady lounge and it's kind of got me thinking this today's video i'm not actually enjoying this uh, current generation of gaming it just feels a little bit lackluster in terms of new ips that are coming through um, yes, PlayStation have had some really solid titles like Spider-Man 2. Obviously, we've got a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth here. But I'm really kind of... Ner I haven't really had the wow factor for a video game for a very, very long time. And in fact, even my PlayStation 5 collection, part of which is down there, part of which is over there... It's very slim pickings, very, very, very slim pickings. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I just wanted to, I just felt like I need to speak to my people about this. And it's a bit of a loose way to kind of hop on a video, if I'm honest. It's very low production value, this part is. I'm, I'm not really about that life. Um, but I just thought I want to kind of say that I'm not enjoying it. And I want to know if you guys are. And if so, what's kind of coming out on PS5? that you might be enjoying or looking forward to, or even the Xbox. Obviously, Starfield was good, um, still is good. I'm still playing Starfield on my Series S, but there's just something missing, right? I, I definitely feel more of a kinship with like the PS3, not so much even the PS4, but kind of PS3 and downwards, like NES to PS3 is like my jam. I love my PS4 and I love the PS5, but I'm still, I can kind of take it or leave it. Certainly wouldn't be on my desert island. So what do you guys think? Um, if you do want to come and see me play some video games, it's twitch.tv forward slash regebs24. I haven't completed Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I kind of feel like I'm cheating by diving straight into Rebirth, but it might just kind of spur me on to then complete the remake. So who knows? And side note, I didn't even like the original. I know, roast me in the comment section. I'm fine with that. Roast me. It's totally fine. But yeah, so that's, that's my thoughts on this current generation of video games.